So I'm going to repair this broken piece. Repair this and just cut this old piece out. Clean that off. I got a small piece that's already made up. This is the hot, hot water I was boiling. Just take the rubber. Five seconds maybe. Softens it right up. Let's put the piece together. Like that, see? This piece looks like it's going to be loose too, so I can fix that now. Piece off. Fix that like that. Dip it in the cold hot water. Hot hot water for five ten seconds. Out you go. There we go. See. Now I just gotta get it up to the other piece. Hopefully it'll reach. I did before so I can't see it not. See? So that my boot like that so I can catch it. Heat this piece up. It's good if you have a pair of rubber gloves on because you can really grip the the plastic better. Take that. Try. Get ready. Go. There. Take a look on the tree. You see where the the uh, you see the um, fence hook fence nail I have there. I'll seal this up and keep this warm. Okay, uh, it's the Easter Friday and I managed to get in with the four-wheeler again and uh, I just tapped this line here now uh, this morning, number uh, number three. So now you can see, I don't know, maybe 15 trees, about 30 taps and uh, Saps flowing today. Um, as you can see, it uh, this is going pretty good. There's about two, probably one and a half bottles in here now. So basically, what I do is, at this stage, I uh, have water bottles, and uh, I try to uh, keep the water bottles full. I won't be able to take any out today, I don't think. It's kind of soft. The snow's getting soft, so I don't want to start my way out there and dig in so uh, basically have the water bottles with the right here like this and uh, a nice clean just clean water jug so I just take it out of here like that and fill the bottles up like this and then uh, Tomorrow morning when I come in, first thing I it will be nice and cold, so I will uh, I will take most of this sap out in the morning while it's hard. The snow is hard. That way it won't get stuck. This little funnel has got a filter on it. It'll filter out a lot of the. Uh, that might be in the line from last season. I'm gonna overfill them. Otherwise, on the way out, on the way out, they uh, splash, splash, splash back and forth, and they will uh, spill out. So, a bit more on this one. Three of these buckets here make up about one water bottle. So, 
six liters here. Now I'll do that. I have catchment areas all through here with these uh, tote boxes and I will uh, visit them once or twice a day and uh, take the sap out. Okay, come to check this catchment area. Uh, just tapped it about two hours ago. Wow, that one's half full already, so I'm gonna have to siphon off some of that. Oh, there's this one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four. It has 11 trees, uh, probably about 20 taps, and uh, this much. You usually get a rush. A lot of a lot of sap right off the bat uh, at the start of the season because there's a lot of pressure built up in the trees from the cold nights and the warm days so as soon as you tap them there's a fresh uh, quite a bit of water quite a bit of sap comes so you can kind of see the the hoses scattered throughout the this little stand of timber here there are some more trees I can get uh, here and there but once I get things flowing here I will tap do a few more once I get the main flow going. I haven't got this line going yet. This one here, it's only a small little line. Little catchment area down there. And I've uh, only got about half of them going here. My batteries are dying quickly, so I have one on charge now down at the bottom of the mountain, so I will head down soon once I collect up some of this sap. and. Uh, so I don't want these to overflow.